Let's take a look at setting up the player. Once it's installed on a workstation, execute the shortcut. If it hasn't connected once to the audio file server, you'll have to input the correct name of the computer or IP number in the remote file server address field. If you have multiple loggers at different addresses, you can use the drop-down to select them. You can give it a short description and input the username and password as you specified on the audio file server. Press the log on button and you get the display on the left hand side of your channels that you are currently logging and one player opens up. You can connect other players so that you can monitor different channels with the click of a button. To monitor live you'll be streaming so you can select the channel on the left hand side and on the player, on its toolbar, select the playback audio from the selected channel in near real time. That'll begin the stream. <laughs> to playback audio from the archive, expand the plus sign beside the channel to expose the, the year, the month, and then the weeks. Once you highlight a week, the green line indicating recorded audio at the timeline appears. You can then pl play back audio at any time from the archive. If you wish to cut a piece of audio, you can extract any length and save it to your local machine, a removable drive, or anywhere on your local area or wide area network. Use the marker to select your start or end point, and you can use the toolbar at the top of the audio file player to reduce the time scale or to increase the time scale for finer detail. So I'm going to start my mark at 6 a.m. and press the in. This is my starting point. I am going to mark my out point a half an hour later. Once the out point is set, you can preview that or you can use the button to save the audio and it's going to save in, in the MP3 format. When I press the extract button, it wants to know where it, it wants you to save to and it can make these other folders with the year, month, day, channel name appended to the folder if you wish. You can change the name of the cut or the channel it's coming from in, in this field here. And I'm going to choose a place to extract my audio to. Handy little buttons here to say I don't want any of those extra folder names or I want all of them and of course you can just deselect some if you wish. I'm not going to take any of them. I'm going to press extract and take my 30 minutes extraction and it's done it. So I'm just going to double check and that's the folder I downloaded to and there's my 30 minute file. The MP3 can now be mailed or put into a folder for a client to get access to. So these can be air checks, these can be commercials, whatever you're looking for. The KLZ audio file server does not limit the connections to the audio file server, so you can have as many players installed on as many machines, streaming, playing live, and extracting audio at any time. You're only limited by the bandwidth of the network. That about wraps it up for the player. If you have any questions, contact us at support at klz.com or our website www.klz.com and we'd love to hear any feedback that you have. Enjoy using the KLZ audio file player. Thank you for watching.